Do you hate playing Fortnite with low frames per second? Your Fortnite is lagging and you can play it very well. So you're lucky today and your frames per second could be like mine. So if you want your frames per second to be like mine, so watch the whole video and follow my steps. And don't forget to subscribe and like this video to see more helpful and not fake videos. So let's get started. So first step is you have to go to the control panel and then find system. Let's click on that and then you have to find advanced system settings. Let's click on that then go to the advanced and find uh, performance. Let's press on settings and find adjust for best performance and press OK. Uh, don't be scared, it won't affect uh, uh, your computer so much, but your Fortnite will run even faster. Uh, but my computer can run uh, Fortnite without this settings. But also you can go to the same thing, go to Advanced and press on Virtual Memory Change button. And then you can just select any disk you want and you can make custom uh, uh, like running but I wouldn't recommend you to make it bigger than 16,000 in maximum size and this recommended uh, 12,000 megabytes but I don't know why it made a little bit lower I don't know, but I don't need this too, but for some old computers it could be even helpful, but uh, I really warn you, don't make your RAM, custom RAM, bigger than it is recommended, because it could break your computer and then it will be only your fault. So, after you're done with advanced system settings, you can go to the windows and uh, type disk uh, cleanup. Let's press on that. Choose a driver. I will choose this one and wait a few minutes. But while we are waiting, I will talk about more about this frame per second boost. As you can see I don't show you any downloads. Yeah, because these downloads aren't very helpful. They could just make your Fortnite even slower. Um, you know it's not really good to download uh, extra programs for Fortnite and many things you can just make manually. You can just make yourself in a few minutes and it will help even more than these programs. Also, I'm very sorry I didn't make... Oh! Well, never mind. Let's just get to the our topic. So, as you can see, there's a lot of programs and other things. Um, you can choose what to delete, like temporary internet files, they are, there could be even more because I cleaned this disk like a few days ago, so it isn't very much things. Like I remember I had 10 gigabytes, but now it's only 8 megabytes. So if you want to clean your files, you just select and press OK. But also I I'll say that after you will turn off your computer and you will start
restart your computer again your computer will show that Windows is updating or uh, cleaning up so don't be scared uh, it is because you use this cleaning cleaner and you have to wait like 10 20 minutes depends how fast your computer is but if you don't want to delete your files so just you can go to the recycle bin and empty your recycle bin because i think you have a lot of gigabytes or megabytes in your recycle bin as so i will press cancel and yeah so let's go to another step well another step is to go to google and press uh, if you have nvidia graphic card so press nvidia geforce and go to this thing drivers geforce or you can go to the link uh, geforce.com uh, yeah drivers and then press this download button and yeah I f I remember I said in this video and you saw there's no extra download but it is not really some like a download it will only update your Nvidia uh, graphic card uh, uh, program and it will run Fortnite even better so let's just press this download button and yeah just wait but I will cancel this because I have uh, updated it I don't remember like few weeks ago so now let's just go to uh, the, uh, that NVIDIA uh, program so now let's just find uh, type and video and you will see this program it's called control panel um, yeah and you will come see this thing if you if you see uh, something uh, not similar so just go to that 3d uh, settings and imagine manage 3d settings and then go to the program settings I just wait and then let's press this add button uh, let's so Fortnite uh, selected and yeah uh, let's see this Fortnite then you should make your settings uh, like these can see just yeah like uh, don't see uh, don't see use global settings well yeah but if you found uh, uh, better settings for NVIDIA control panel so you can use these settings but I think they automatically put in your settings wait 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 there is no Fortnite oh now this Fortnite okay nothing much but still okay so yeah let's get to now let's get to the Fortnite I think so now we are in Fortnite so you have to go to the Fortnite and now let's go to uh, settings mm, yeah now follow uh, everything that I will do so make window mode uh, full screen because it will be best if you're using not uh, stretch mode if you will use stretch mode uh, I will show you how, uh, how to make a little bit stretch mode in Fortnite even it is removed from fr Fortnite 
uh, make frame rate limit um, like 120 or 60 frames per second you may you can make even more but I would recommend making 120 uh, make 3d resolution a menu but I like a little bit playing with higher graphics so I make 3d resolution uh, 100% you can make even lower but I would recommend you for better gameplay and see even more things 100% but you can make even lower then make view distance far or epic maybe let's make it far uh, you can make it near but sometimes it will will uh, lag more so you can make far you can just test uh, make shadows always off these off uh, textures low effects low and this low then turn off this thing uh, you can turn on because for some people it will uh, give some more frames per second I don't know why it doesn't work for me but you can also test it but I just turn off this uh, turn off motion blur and yeah press apply uh, and then go here and go down down until you will see replays so turn off all replays so your replays won't be recorded yeah I know if you even get win but uh, best, a better, best thing is that it won't lag so much and yeah so now let's show you the stretch mode so let's make it windowed also, I, I didn't mention that. Don't make window full screen because it's not really good for for uh, for for bad computers. So yeah, let's make window and press apply. Let's just wait. Well, now you see this uh, like this, and yeah. First of all, you can just go to the task manager. Let's press this and make Fortnite priority too high. But sometimes it won't work. Like for me, it worked one time, another time it didn't work. So you can try make show process from all users and then try to set priority too high. If it won't make, you can just try to search uh, YouTube I don't really know now how to like um, make Fortnite priority too high so but it doesn't give you so much for a uh, uh, frame per second boost uh, then now let's show you stretch mode so here you are Fortnite and then press control and F11 or Alt F11. Let's try Control F11 and and here we go. You have stretch mode. Don't don't touch this window mode anymore. As you can see, it will be full screen, but now it will be a little bit stretched, and it could. Uh, boost your FPS frames per second. So yeah, that's everything for uh, how to uh, boost your frames per second. And I think you enjoyed this video. It was really helpful. And comment down below if it really helped you. So if it didn't, so maybe I will try to find even more ways. Uh, a little bit harder ways how to fix your uh, frames per second drops in Fortnite and make your gameplay better. And don't forget again to subscribe to my channel, like this video for more helpful videos. And yeah, 
See ya.